the blob of sesame oil right here. Right there, if I squish it. Yeah, wow, so cool. I mean, technically, flour, flour dries stuff out, right? It makes the oil get absorbed, so that's not so weird, but I feel like sesame oil isn't one of those things that can do that, but I guess it does. It's like regular oil. It acts like other oils. <sighs> you guys love sesame oil? Really? Interesting. I then you will probably like how much sesame oil just went into this because all I can smell now is sesame oil. Yeah, even even smelling this, which yeast usually has such a strong smell, I can't smell this. I, I can't smell it because the sesame oil is too strong. Okay, let's pour this in. Boop. Oh, all the sugar is at the bottom too. I should probably get all that sugar goodness. All right, so what does the recipe say now? Gradually mix in the dashi stuff. When the flour is mixed, clean the paddle, gather flour together with your hand and knead until it is smooth and clean inside the mixing bowl, and then knead it on the cutting board. Okay, cool, I can do that. I feel like I should have relied on you guys more for the recipe because it's hard to go back and forth between the chat and the recipe. <gasps> Crap. Okay. All right. Is yeast vegan because it's technically a tiny animal? Wow, that's a very good point. Uh, let's ask Google. Hey Google. Is yeast vegan? Oh, okay. So I don't know if you heard that, but it said yeast is a single celled organism classified as a fungus, which makes it 100% vegan friendly. So because it's not an animal, it's not in the Kingdom Animalia, that's, uh, you can consider it vegan, yes. But that it produces gas and consumes something is, it, like, I feel like that's, that's an argument against it, for sure. Okay, cool. Ooh, he's coming together. Wow, all I can smell is sesame oil. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about this recipe because I, personally, I can have too many, too much sesame oil, so... I don't know about this. That might have been too much sesame oil. Okay. Oh, you know what? Before I continue, I'm going to put flour on um, in a bowl next to me because I know it's going to be hard to access that flour later on. So let's do that. Fungus is more close to its humans than this to other plants and vegetables. Huh, that's really cool. I did not know that. Do you know, I mean, even if you explained it, I'm not sure if I would understand, but Reverend, do you know in what way that fungus is more like closely related to humans? Like, all I can think of is one of those trees about, like, uh, what is it called? Like the evolution trees? I guess technically if we're closer in that tree to a fungus, then yes, we are more closely related than plants are to it, but that seems like a, like a really like, like a far, far stretch. 